I'm Mikey Sklar in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, working on the Green Acre project. And today what we've been working on is plastering the inside of our battery room. And behind me, this dome behind me is a ferro-cement structure dome. It's got a double armature, so there's a smaller dome within a bigger dome, and there's a one-foot gap separating them, which we've filled with one foot of papercrete by using a trash pump and pumping all the papercrete in until it filled right to the top of the dome. We've plastered the outside. It still needs a coat of paint now. And we are going to complete plastering the inside today, at least with the first coat of papercrete being sprayed on. And I'd like to show you the tools we use to do that. Okay, I have uh, two different types of sprayers which we're using to enclose this battery room with papercrete. Um, the first sprayer is a vertical sprayer. These are both pyrolesis sprayers. This one I use for the ceiling. So you notice the hopper is top mounted vertically and it sprays um, in almost a, a vertical-ish direction. So it's really easy to cover the roof and um, the, the, the curves of the dome without trying to plaster by hand and sort of trowel that on there and watch all your mortar just fall to the ground. The second sprayer I'm using is another Tyrolessa, which is the more popular, which is the side, you know, hip shooter style. And both of these are uh, using a huge air compressor that is about 60 gallons uh, tank, so it's enormous, and it's 220 volt, and uh, I think it's something like nine horsepower. So it's a it's a massive air compressor that we're using to shoot the papercrete mix. And as our mix that we're shooting, this is a really special mix that we have today. Um, this, this batch is a little bit heavier than usual, but we're using a half bucket, a half a five gallon bucket worth of um, shredded paper right out of our big 200 gallon tow mixer. And then we're adding to that six cups of sand, I'm sorry, six cups of Portland cement, four cups of sand, and adding uh, almost two gallons of prickly pear because the paper's so dry coming out of the mixer right now. We went on vacation and kind of let it dry up, so we've been adding quite a bit of prickly pear juice. And what that gives us is a really strong plaster. This has only been setting up for a few days that I can't even scratch with my fingernail to make a mark in. And this is, um, I don't know how watertight this is going to be, so we're going to cover it with a coat of prickly pear paint. So we're going to grind up the paddles, add a little bit of lime, and take the, the thick goo prickly pear to make a paint sealant over what is already a paper and prickly sand cement mix. So we really like this mortar because it's cheap, it's easy to apply, it's fun to trowel and smooth out. This dome is going to be housing our batteries, the inverters, the charge controllers. Basically everything that powers our home will be located in this dome, except for the solar panels, which are just 15 feet away. Um, these two kilowatts of solar, power, solar panels will be the power source that goes right into this. So we won't have any grid connection for all of our power for all the rooms here on Green Acre. It's all going to be coming from these um, 12 170 watt solar panels. This is a dome that I've been spraying in today with just the vertical sprayer so far and I probably have about 15 minutes worth of spraying. You can see how much area I've covered of this 10 foot diameter dome in just 15 minutes and you can imagine how painful this would be to get up and down a ladder and to be hand troweling this space while the mortar while the paper creek uh, plaster is just falling right off because of gravity. So this um, you know, this device really just sort of pays for itself instantly. And what I'll do is as I get low enough to the wall here, just about the four foot mark, I'll switch over to our hip shooting uh, sprayer instead of the vertical one. So I'm just getting to that point now. And then tomorrow what we're going to do is a second coat over this and we're going to slick it down. So I'm actually going to spray this whole thing again and then uh, trowel it all down with pool trowels to get a nice slick finished look, which is what we're going for, not a stuccoed splatter look, which is easier and 